Aloha, I'm Kerry and I am going to be talking uh, for this chapter about the logo design and the importance of having a good logo, especially as a designer on, uh, for websites uh, pages. Uh, it is so important for us to, to make a, a good logo that uh, can help uh, the entire website page or the website itself um, being successful. So I was actually um, uh, thinking of answering uh, this uh, main question uh, what make a logo uh, what makes a logo uh, successful and by doing so I will be um, talking about five different um, uh, principles that can uh, help us uh, to make a good logo and every time that I will be uh, talking about one principle I will give I will be giving a an example of um, a good logo that uh, can illustrate that principle okay so um, these are the five important uh, principles that I want to uh, be talking about <laughs> the first will be to the importance of making uh, the logo simple or making it um, memorable timeless and then versatile and finally to make it appropriate uh, to a uh, different situation so let's start off by talking about the first one the first principle try to make it uh, simple well it is important to make the, to make it actually uh, really easy because uh, to make it simple I mean so it will be easy for people to uh, to recognize or to to, to recognize mainly a, a logo for example here you can see the logo of shell that uh, uh, has been changing over time and actually we're going to be talking about uh, changing uh, the logo uh, later on in our, our, our um, presentation but over here you can see that uh, shell which is really um, well known in the uh, the word has been changing uh, its logo over over time uh, since 1900 uh, all the way to um, 2000 uh, the logo has been changed uh, at least 10 times to, yeah uh, 10 times to actually uh, try to make the, the logo simple so today when you when you see actually this uh, this logo be here you can actually just recognize that it's child it doesn't even need to be uh, written uh, on the bottom like it was before shell because we actually uh, know already because uh, it is so uh, it, it is well known actually in the, in the entire world even for me uh, uh, being from uh, Tahiri I know uh, what shell is so yeah I think that um, shell uh, has um, um, and made made its logo uh, better and better at, as uh, it uh, tried to change the logo to make it uh, actually better you can see actually that it didn't uh, change at all but it just uh, we still have the, the the design of the shell here but um, the design itself of the the main product didn't, didn't actually change okay so yeah make it simple and now um, we're gonna move on to the second one to um, the importance of making the logo memorable we actually uh, talked a little about it uh, earlier um, that uh, it is important to make it uh, simple in order for us to make it uh, memorable as well when it's simple and clear it's more memorable and you all agree about, about this statement right <coughs> so um, here is the example that I chose actually Facebook yeah and once again um, it doesn't even uh, note uh, and need to to write the entire word Facebook over here um, just with this one everybody knows what face uh, Facebook uh, is with just this little uh, F and uh, blue uh, bl uh, background uh, Facebook uh, has its its own um, um, uh, logo and well you actually it's actually already on um, memory uh, every time we go to a website uh, you always have a a link that goes to uh, to Facebook every time you, you wanna 
uh, share a link you can do it uh, through Facebook and when you see this actually logo on any kind of websites that uh, we have on the internet um, you already know that uh, this is Facebook because it's simple to, to, to remember it is clear and it's just memorable all right let's move on to the third one the third principle timeless well um i mean uh, when i say timeless it, here it means um if the product i mean if the logo will be effective over time meaning if it won't change over over time you actually uh, if you remember on the first um at the beginning of my present uh, toward the beginning of my presentation i was talking a little about um shell who has been um changing its logo it is not always actually a good thing uh, to 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 change and you actually have another uh, example of uh, a logo that has been changed over time since uh, 1918 <coughs> sorry 95 all the way to 2008 pepsi has um, changed its logo many many times every uh, almost every um Five years, uh, five to ten years, it had uh, it uh, changed its logo and it became this one all the way on the bottom here. However, you can see that Coca Cola uh, never changed its logo since the 1993 all the way to today. The logo has been the same, uh, so we can see that how um, effective this logo has been over over time. And I guess uh, even in the future, Coca-Cola won't change its logo it design. We already have the logo in our memory. It's already memorable. It's already easy and simple to 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 remember. Let's move on to the next one, Versatile. It should be able to work in different formats actually. And Mercedes here, you all know uh, Mercedes. Mm, um, it, it has to be able to, to work in different kind of uh, format. Um, it has to match the background. As we always say, the background ha doesn't have to always be um, with color and uh, with photos or pictures in the back even uh, a white uh, background can be effective and uh, Mercedes is a good example of it you know a Mercedes is a well-known uh, company in the world uh, of a luxury car and look at the the logo it is so so simple uh, when you see it but when you see it you can you know already that is Mercedes uh, which is an ex another example it doesn't have to be written Mercedes on the bottom or anywhere on the logo we know already that with this uh, star and on that logo here um, it is Mercedes all right and then finally uh, it has to uh, be appropriate to its intended purpose for example if um, as designer making a web uh, page the purpose of the web page is to is for um, entertaining children we won't uh, be using uh, formal characters or formal uh, colors or formal design for for a logo for example it depends on what uh, the website will be talking about or what the logo is about for example you can uh, have actually two different uh, logos here NBA and Walt Disney you can actually see that Walt Disney is having a design that uh, is a bit like a paradise for children the um, the, the words over here are more uh, hand um, drawn than mechanical we've been talking about it earlier the, the words are not straight yeah, it, it is more like um, kids who try to 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 draw. Uh, however, here you can see that uh, this one is a bit more for adults and for those who like sport, especially for those who like uh, uh, basketball. So, a, a guy um, holding a ball is usually. Uh, in terms of uh, sport uh, playing basketball so this is uh, two different um, <coughs> uh, two different uh, logo that uh, has to be uh, achieving the purpose of it uh, logo so that's pretty much what I want to talk about thank you mahalo